It's National Bourbon Day. Why not uh, relax and sip uh, a little bit of bourbon from Wilderness Trail Distillery? Jared Smith joins me once again. Jared, National Bourbon Day. First of all, you know, this is the place to celebrate what bourbon means to the city of Louisville and the state of Kentucky. You know, the Visitors Bureau comes on here often. They talk about heads and beds. What's it mean to you? Yeah, it, it, it means the history of it, all that, that, that weight, that gravitas behind it. You know, it's National Bourbon Day, but really, you know, this is Kentucky's day to shine, you know, because Kentucky bourbon is bourbon. 95% of it's made here. Uh, there's two bourbon barrels for every person here. It's over a $9 billion industry. Uh, but not only that, you know, you just got all that, the history, all the, the lore, the legend, everything behind it just intertwines with Kentucky history so great. It intertwines with a good glass of bourbon, too, when you talk about there it. There you go. Wait, yeah. what, when you uh, started the Wilderness Trail Distillery, when you started this, so was the, is that what attracted you? You have you always been one of those guys kind of because there is that historic component to it that makes it really more alluring than just your average everyday business, right? Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, before I got into the bourbon industry, I used to be a history teacher, so I loved to talk about uh, bourbon, what it meant to the state, because you can parallel a lot with the settlement of the state, you know, the crops we grow here uh, through the political process, through trust busting in the, the mm -hmm. late 1800s with the, the big whiskey trust, uh, all that uh, prohibition, how that played into you know the repercussions we still feel socially today. Uh, bourbon just fits step and step along with that. If someone goes to the Wilderness Trail Distillery, and I want to talk about some of your product mm -hmm. here, but can they learn some of that history? Do you yeah. show them around and kind of give them a real feel of what bourbon's all about? Sure, yeah, we do a full hour immersive tour, uh, and we really devolve into the, the science of it, the history of it, uh, and then kind of culturally, you know, you know, what does it mean today to be a Kentuckian uh, making this, drinking this stuff? You know, what does that mean as we kind of put our best foot forward to the nation and the world as a Kentuckian making bourbon? Yeah. Uh, how that affects them, yeah. and of course us. Too. Well, well said, yeah, I, I love the educational component, but I can hear the passion in your voice too. Okay, now let's talk about what bourbon does for the palate. <laughs> let's grab some product. Yeah, you, have, you, you have a new small batch? Is it, is it rye? Yeah, it's, now, it's a high rye bourbon. So okay, is it a little sweeter then? Uh, it's going to have, uh, well, actually, let you be the choice here, right. or be the judge here on it. So this is uh, this is bourbon that can so show me how to do this again. Well, it's, it's really just the best way to it is the way that you like it. But but there's a, a little bit more of a science to it if you want to uh, really get into it. Uh, first thing is to smell it. You're going to taste so much of it through your nose. Uh, so so kind of get a good, good whiff of it. The good All thing right. about the glass glass here is going to kind of concentrate the, mm -hmm. the, the, the vapors coming up to That's you. That's why bourbon glasses are made this way? Yeah, right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. Gotcha. All right. yeah, and then I like to start off with just a tiny drink. You know, that way I'm not overwhelming my taste buds with anything. Uh, it's going to go on there and let my palate kind of adjust to it, and that way I can work my way up to, by the end of the night, it might be a little bit bigger drink. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, so th is this your small batch? This is our small batch. So this is made with corn, mm -hmm. rye, and bourbon. We make this all with Kentucky Proud grown uh, ingredients there in Danville. So we have a farm just right down the road that uh, has been there since the late 1700s that, that grows our grains for us. Uh, we put it in barrels made here in, uh, in Kentucky, over in Lebanon, Kentucky. We put that uh, on our rick houses on site there. Uh, so we do everything right there in our 40-acre our campus. We, we talk about the importance of, you know, the limestone in the water and this and that about bourbon. But what, what really makes Kentucky bourbon so uniquely Kentucky. What are some of the components? Oh, well, it's really all the components together, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of it is the climate. Uh, you got to have those four distinct seasons. You got to have that great water. Mm -hmm. uh, but so much of it is, though, the 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 know-how. Uh, it's not, you can't just go to school and start making good bourbon. Uh, now you can start off, you know, fresh and you get trained by the masters to do so, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to read a book and do this. So to have all of that, that concentration of knowledge here in Kentucky really helps. Uh, usually when you see a new distillery start, they're bringing somebody from another distillery. You know, we started from scratch at our place, uh, but we had over 15 years in the industry learning this stuff from other people too. So. I would think you have a big advantage because you, you mentioned you know so much of the history. So you know where where to find the good grains, where to, you know, why Kentucky is special, and you want to keep that tradition, you want to have the very best. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah the, the, we want to make the best every day we do it. You know, we go there, we don't ever want to, to go in there and make good bourbon. We want to make the best bourbon every single day. So we want the best ingredients, the best products, and the best employees to do so. For those who would like to visit the Wilderness Trail Distillery, Danville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. okay, your recommendations, do they make reservations? Are there, are there guided tours that have specific hours? What do you recommend? Yeah, so, so come Tuesday through Saturday, we start on the hour, uh, but no reservations are needed. We want everybody to come in, fill welcome. Uh, if a tour isn't starting when you get there, we'll make you a cocktail. Uh, we'll sit down and talk to you. We'll, we'll show you a, a video if you want to watch that. Uh, so, so we'll definitely make you feel like home while you're waiting. I love this. Okay. And, and your passion, you surround yourself with people, I would think, like-minded, love bourbon. I mean, your partners and all that, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, our owners, uh, they're, they're great people. All of them are, are long history in the, in the bourbon industry, the family history of it. Uh, but really, that, that doesn't matter as much as they're bourbon drinkers. You know, the people that, that we work for, that we work with, we drink the stuff. 
stuff. We're not just making it to, to make a buck right now. This is our life. This is our lifestyle of uh, being a bourbon producer. Yeah, don't you find it amazing? I think it's really because we all know about the, the classic bourbon drinks, the old fashions, et cetera. But now, I mean, bourbon, I mean, there's refreshing summer drinks that involve like lemonade. There's a, sure. all these different variations. Is that Absolutely. exciting for you? Absolutely. Any way to drink bourbon is a good way. Uh, you can get a bourbon slushy. You know, that's, that's the big thing. I had a Maker's Mark slushy the other night, which was, uh, was just pretty good. Uh, you know, so, so any way that you can make bourbon to, to be more appealable to the masses, go for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, there seems to be, too, it's, it's like this here in Louisville as far as chefs. It seems to me that people who make really quality bourbon, you just mentioned Maker's Mark, mm -hmm. and there are, of course, others. It's a fraternity, isn't it? You don't really, it's not a thing, a competition is where you down the competition. You just, if you know someone's committed to making quality bourbon, that resonates with you, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, we, we know people don't have their bourbon cabinet full of just one brand. Sure. Uh, they're buying from across the brands. You know, we want them to include Wilderness Trail in it, but we know they're buying for, from all the other guys that are, that are members of the Bourbon Trail. Uh, when they do good, we do good, and when we do good, they do good. So we want everybody to do great, uh, and it's really all just about the bourbon. Uh, we don't make a whole lot of it, so as long as people are drinking bourbon, we're going to sell every bit we make. So we want those folks to, to try other stuff, too. You mentioned the small batch. We talked about the, the, the high-rise small batch. What other recommendations would you have for those who want to try Wilderness Trail Distillery? Yeah, so we, we, the, the high-rise small batch is our newest product. Uh, it's a blend of, of 5 to 12 barrels. Uh, it is really great. We got our original weeded bourbon. That's made with corn, wheat, and barley. It's a bottle and bond, single barrel. So you get those little nuances between barrel. And then we have our rye whiskey. That's using a Kentucky-grown rye, which is really, really rare. Uh, rye doesn't do that great here in Kentucky. So we've got a producer in Boyle County uh, that grows this Kentucky Proud product where we can get that, use that to make our, our rye whiskey and really offer that first Kentucky-grown rye uh, since uh, before Prohibition. All right. Here's a Father's Day recommendation. Make that short drive to Danville. Enjoy the bourbon experience. If your dad loves bourbon or if he just loves uh, to be around good people and a little bit of history, I think he'd enjoy the experience. All right. Here's to you. Congratulations yeah, to your success. This is yeah. fantastic. Cheers. I highly recommend this. Yeah, mm, it's job. good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's the way to celebrate National Absolutely. Bourbon Day right there. All right, Jared Smith, once again, with the Wilderness Trail Distillery. You can enjoy the experience in Danville, Kentucky. Look at that. That, that, looks, that looks fantastic on National Bourbon Day. We'll take a break, and then we're going to give away some uh, Holiday World and Splash and Safari tickets. That's next on Wave 3 Listens on a Feel Good Friday.